struggle is real when you're in college so hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i bring to you my body care and hair care empties so last week i did my skincare and my makeup empties so that will be linked down below but yes i did put my vanity up hopefully it doesn't echo so much so let me know if you hear a difference if you don't still let me know in the down bar because i kind of want to make some changes before we get into this video i want to announce that tomorrow you will see this flesh foundation review going up so be on the lookout for that so now that i have made those couple of announcements let's just get straight into the video so today i'm going to start with hair care and for hair care i have this pantene beautiful link shampoo this was like a special limited edition packaging just for breast cancer awareness month which i very much appreciate but i have used pantene shampoos in the past i do like it um when i wash my hair honestly i wash it once a week so when i wash my hair i go in with like three different shampoos at one time and then i go in with one conditioner at the very end just to make sure that i have all that gunk out so, I mean, I can't really tell if this is what's doing the trick or not, but I'm going to stick with my plan of three shampoos because that's what I've been doing and I really do like it. So, let's just move on to the next product. I have this huge bottle of the Neutrogena Sheer Oil Lotion Light Sesame Formula. This has a Whisper Light Skin Silkening Moisturizer. And so, yes, this was very moisturizing and it did sink into the skin very quickly. So if that is something that you like in lotions, and this is something that I use specifically for my whole body, um, I did like that. So would I recommend this product? Yes. Would I repurchase it? Probably not, only because I like the Nivea one better. Um, I will put a picture up here so you can see it. It's a purple bottle. That is a bottle that I love and I stand by. So I wouldn't repurchase this one necessarily, but if I had to, I would. It's not a bad one or anything like that. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about this Neutrogena lotion. Going back to shampoo, I have the Biolage Salicylic Acid Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. So I did have dandruff at one point and just to get rid of that, I bought like head and shoulders, things known for taking away dandruff. I don't think this helped necessarily. Um, I did try the shampoo and the conditioner. I don't have the sh conditioner in here. I think I threw that one out by accident, but I 110% prefer the shampoo over the conditioner. Um, this has willow bark and rosemary in it, so it was okay. The good thing is it's real, it's raw, it's organic, and that's what this brand stands for. So, I mean, it wasn't a bad product or anything. I wouldn't necessarily repurchase though. One more for shampoo. This is the Love, Beauty, and Planet shampoo and i really really did like this i like this a lot more than the one that i just mentioned before so i really really do like this a lot and i would repurchase this is again something that's really good for the planet as the title suggests so i mean i do like the product inside and i do like what they stand for so i would be more likely to repurchase this one than the last one for a body wash i have the aromatherapy sleep black chamomile body wash this is from Bath and Body Works. I really do like this. I love the scent and the way I love my body feeling. So I would 110% repurchase it. It was just a little bit pricey. So if I did repurchase it, I would wait till it goes on to sale or something so that I can get it for a cheaper price. Um, this is the Baby Dub Shampoo Rich Moisture. I would use this as one of my cleanses. I did like it. Would I repurchase it? No. I feel like it's a really, really small bottle and it costs like 6 or $7. So I prefer to get something like this Pantene one. So I would not necessarily repurchase this one, but I had it and I used it up, so it wasn't too bad. Okay, this is something that's really sad, but it's from Lush. It expired. It smells good still though. It's the Odafix Fresh Face Mask, and it says get your Odafix with a blend of bananas, vanilla, ground almonds, and oats to cool and nourish irritated skin. So I only got one usage out of this, so I'm not sure if it's good or not. But I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. It's a Lush product. I used to always swear by Lush products. And so, I mean, I would probably repurchase it just to try it out because I don't even remember what it felt like on the skin. But I can tell you it smells good. And this expired a little over four months ago, and it's still good. 
So would I repurchase it? Probably yes, even though I don't even know how it works. But Lush products are usually a hit. For hair, I have the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I love this brand for dry shampoo. I don't necessarily love this exact formula or color. I like the one that has either the yellow on the outside, like the tropical vibes. I love that one. It leaves my hair feeling a lot more fresh, so I prefer this one over that one. Would I buy Batiste again though? Yes. Would I buy this brown tint one? Not necessarily, but Batiste is a hit overall. So repurchase Batiste, just not this. So I have that Caress in the Irish Spring. Um, this is a body soap. I really do like both of them. If I had to pick one, I would definitely go with the Caress one. It's more nourishing, it lasts longer. So Caress over Irish Springs, but they're both pretty good products. Okay, this is something that's super duper the Estee Lauder Youth Dew Perfumed Body Cream. This smells like a dream. If you ever get a chance to go into Macy's, Nordstrom, wherever they have this, it's the one with like this goldish cap. It smells so, so, so good. I wish you guys could just like come over here and smell this. This big jar is 6.7 ounces and it lasted me over a year. My grandma was the one who bought me this and I am forever grateful. She has not bought me another one, but I don't expect her to. So I might end up buying one for myself. Just lather your, your decolletage with this. You'll be smelling good like all day. It smells so, so good. And I would repurchase, but it is a hefty price tag. So if you've never tried it, I just gotta warn you now. But but this is amazing. Okay, and for the last thing, this right here is my swag. No, I'm just kidding. But this right here is a foot scrub, and I just threw it out because it's kind of like time to be thrown out. But this is such a good foot scrub. Um, honestly, take care of your feet, guys. I always do. I have exfoliators for like my body and things upstairs. So once I use up those products, or if you guys would like a video of me incorporating all the products, all my favorite like hygiene products, things like that, just let me know. I would be so happy to do so for you. But feet is something that I've like cared about for a long time. I don't have a foot fetish or anything like that. I just want my feet to be soft and supple for when I get older. So it's never too early to start. I usually use this like once a week with special moisturizing body washes that I have. So yes, this is something that I've sworn by for a long time. Something that I can scrub against the heels of my foot and everything like that and it'll take off all the dead skin. I really really like this and if you have not yet tried this, you can get this from Ebony anywhere. I'm pretty sure like Target, TBS, Walgreens, there's a form of this. So yes, try to find one and try it out and let me know if you like it but I really do like this one. I feel like they all do the same things so regardless I feel like you're going to get the same outcome but yes I believe that is all of my empties so if you did watch to the end comment down a little crown emoji for my queens out there and before I go I would like to let you guys know that this yes please ColourPop palette is going to be given away very very soon as soon as I reach 100 subscribers so tell your friends, tell your family, and subscribe to my channel, like this video if you did like it, and comment down below if you would like to watch any other video for that matter, or more videos like this. In order to be eligible for the giveaway, you do need to comment. You can comment on this video or in my past two videos, whichever one you want, but um, you need to comment an emoji, any type of emoji, not the Quran one because we just use that one, but um, yeah, comment down an emoji in a way that I can reach you guys, whether that be email, Instagram, etc. And that will make you eligible for the giveaway. But if you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, let your friends, let your family know about my channel. I really want it to grow and I'm really excited for everything that's to come. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!